Paula, you've instituted regular staff surveys. How do these staff surveys connect to investors in people? Yes, we run an annual staff survey. Um, the staff survey is actually made up of two parts. Um, one part is um, an, an index of, of 10 questions, whereby we just look, it's like a happy index, so we look at how happy staff are to work with International House. Um, the second and longer part of the survey is linked directly back to Investors in People. So within invest, Investors in People, you have three principles. Um, they're broken down to, into 10 indicators, and those 10 indicators are um, broken down into 39 evidence criteria against which you're assessed. So we've taken quite a few of those evidence criteria and we've turned them into survey questions. Um, and uh, we, we ask people basically to uh, rate us against those questions on, on an annual basis. We also use the same um, scoring system that is used by IOP. So um, if you're between 75 and 100, it's excellent. If it's 60 to 75, it means you're on track. Um, any lower than that, you, you need to start paying attention and, and looking at that area as an area for development. So um, we find that very useful because it's giving us the information that we're missing. So we have, we have an, an external um, assessment every three years, but it, it fills in the gaps in the years in between. And it also shows us that if something is going off track, we can kind of pull it back again. Um, so, so we find it a very, very useful tool. And do the results of the survey go back to the staff? Yes, they do. They're fed back to the staff at um, a staff meeting. So we show them the happiness index, we show them some of the top scoring questions, we show them the lowest scoring questions. Um, if, if we can at all possibly do something to... Um,